Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Uh, this is chapter 6, Mathematics of Finance. And section 6.1 is about symbol interest. Uh, well, if a sum of money, P, called the principal, is invested for a time period, T, and frequently T is in years, at an interest rate R per period, the symbol interest is given by this formula. So I is the symbol interest, P is the principal, R is the annual interest rate, annual each year yearly written as a decimal so we write it as a decimal and t time in years so i is prt the time measurements for r and t must agree so r annual and t in years Let us uh, solve this example. 8,000 is invested. So this is P, the principal. For two years, this is T. At an annual interest rate, this is R. And we write R as a decimal. So divide 9 by 100. How much interest will be received at the end of the two-year period how much interest so he is asking about i and i is p r t so it's eight thousand times point zero nine times two and when i multiply the answer is one four four zero dollar part b so this is the interest the simple interest for leaving this amount of money two years a four thousand is borrowed so this is the principal for 39 weeks Time has to be in years. So 39 weeks, I divide them by 52 because there are 52 weeks in a year. At an annual interest rate, so that's R, 0.15 when you divide 15 by 100. How much interest is due at the end of the 39 weeks? Interest, symbol interest is PRT. So it's 4000 times R times T. And when you multiply, you get 450. So the interest is $450. So this is how we evaluate the symbol interest. Future amount of an investment or future value is what you get at the end of the interest period. So at the end of the interest period, you get the principal, your principal, plus the interest, okay? So in example 1A, this one, 8,000 were invested. So what would be the future value of this 8,000? It would be 8,000, the principal, plus 1,440, the interest after two years. So the future value would be 9,450. So the future value of an investment, and let us call it S, is the principal plus the symbol interest. Both 
uh, in dollars. Example, 2000 is borrowed. So this is the principal. For one half year, so this is the time, half a year. Remember, T has to be in years. At a simple interest rate of 12% per year. So this is the interest rate, the annual interest rate per year. So it's annual. So this is R. What amount must be repaid at the end of the half year? So he is asking about S, the future value. Well, S is equal to the principal plus the interest. The principal is 2000 and the interest is 2000 times R times T. So it is 2000, which is the principal. plus 120, which is the interest. So the future value would be $2,120. This is the amount that must be repaid, repaid after the end of the half year. Part B, an investor wants to have he wants to have 20,000 in nine months. So this is the future value. Future value is 20,000 in nine months. So that's T and we divide by 12 to make it in years. If the best available symbol interest rate, so this is R divided by 100, write it as a decimal per year so it's an annual the annual interest rate how much must be invested now so he is asking about p the principal to yield the desired amount which is the 20000 well i can say that uh, S, let us use the formula, S equals P plus I. So 20,000 equals P plus I, and I is PRT. So I can take P as a common factor, and then I have 1 plus RT. P is unknown, and R is 0 0.0. 6, 5 times t, which is 9 over 12. So p would be the 20,000 over this amount. And let me find the answer. It is 1.045375, okay? So when I divide 20,000 by this number, I get 1,931.89 dollar. So $19,131, if I put them for nine months, I'll get the 20,000 after, uh, after nine months. So this is the amount must be invested now, the principal. Evaluating an investment. Mary bought wind gain electric stock so she bought 
stock for $6,125. After six months, the value of her shares had risen by $138 and dividends totaling $144.14 had been paid. A. Find the return on investment on this investment. So she invested this amount of money. She bought stocks with this price, 6,125. And after six months, she received, uh, when she bought them, okay, when she sold them after six months, uh, she received $138. This is uh, uh, increase in the price of the stock. And also she received dividends. And usually uh, dividends is amount of money uh, you get when you buy shares uh, each half year, each year depends on the company. So this is the amount of money. So to find the return on investment, you invested 6125 and you received these two kinds of money. So if you divide what you received by your original amount, then, and multiply by 100, okay? And multiply by 100. So you get the return on investment, 4.61%. So this is the return on investment, on, on her investment. Okay, B, find the simple interest rate. Simple interest rate is R. So what is the simple interest rate? She earned on this investment. If she sold the stock, so she sold the stock at the end of the six months. So T is six months over 12. That's half. It has to be in years. Okay. Now, what is P? P, the principal, is six. 125 do we have the interest what is the interest she got well she got 138 when she sold the stocks and also she got the dividends so when we add these two we get the interest so the interest is 282 Point fourteen. This is what she got. And now to find R, I can use the formula I equals PRT, the simple interest formula. So 282.14 equals 6125 times R, which we need to find, times T, which is half. So uh, I can solve for R. R would be 28214 over 6125 over 2. Let me multiply first. 6125 times half. Uh, that's 3062.5. So divide these two numbers. 282.14 and I will get 0 0.092. So the simple interest rate is, if I multiply by 100, it is 9.2%.
percent. So this is the simple interest rate uh, she earned on this investment. Some other questions, examples. 1,000 is invested, so this is P. 5.8 percent simple interest. So this is 0 0.058 divide 5.8 by 100. This is R. How long will it take? He is asking about T now to grow to 1,100. This is S. So if I subtract S minus P, I will get the interest. 1,100 minus 1,000 is 100. So the interest is 100. And it is equal to P times R times T. So T would be, solving for T, is 100 over, if I multiply the 1000 times 0 0.058, so it's 58. So T would be 100 over 58, and the answer is 1.724 years. So this is the years, this is the number of years we need for 1000 to grow to 1100 after one year and 0.7. You can multiply by 12, find them in months. So what is the simple interest formula? It is I equals PRT. If 8,000, this is P, is invested at 6%, so R is 0 0.06, nine months, so T is nine over 12, find the future value. So find S, the future value. Well, S equals P times 1 plus RT. You can write it like this, as we have seen. So P is 8,000 times 1 plus 0.6 times 9 over 12. And this is one point zero five. So the future value is eight thousand three hundred sixty dollar. If a two thousand five hundred investment, so this is P grows to so this is S. In 15 months, so T is 15 over 12, what simple interest rate? What is R? So I can find I. I would be S minus P, future value, to 875 minus 2,500. So it's 375. This equals to P times R times T. So R would be 3750 over, if I multiply 2500 times 15 over 12, I get 3125. So now dividing. I get 0.12, multiplying by 100, so the rate is 12 percent. That's the end. I hope the lesson is easy. Uh, have a nice time.